Well, hello and welcome back to Tutor LMS Academy, everyone. We are back with our tutorials after a big substantial update to Tutor LMS with the launch of Tutor LMS 3.0. This update has paved the way for a lot of big changes to Tutor LMS, setting new standards for e-learning as a whole. A lot of things got a complete design overhaul in Tutor LMS 3.0 and we have also added a ton of new features. So we'll go over all of these features in our coming tutorials, but for today, we will be looking at the all new redesigned course builder for Tutor LMS and how we can easily create a course from start to finish on the new revamped builder. So let's get started. Firstly, we'll have to go to the course builder of Tutor LMS. And for that, we need to go to courses and the navigation is pretty much the same as before. So we'll go to courses and we'll click on add new. And here we are at the all new course builder, starting with Tutor LMS 3.0. So you can notice that it no longer has the old WordPress backend dashboard look, and it's very intuitive to use. So firstly, you'll see that the course builder is actually divided into three parts now. Basics, which is the first one. Here we can set up the initial information on the course, like the course details, featured images, and the pricing model of our course. Let's get started with creating our course and we'll go through the rest of the sections as we get there. So before we fill up the course details, you can see that there's this notebook tab here. And this is actually an all new feature that launched with Tutor LMS 3.0 called Instructor Notebook. This is basically a convenient notebook so you can copy and paste course content instantly in the course builder without having to leave the Tutor LMS tab. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. You can see that we've already pasted some of our course details like the title and the course description. So for the title, we're gonna copy this and we'll paste it here and you can see that it's instantly pasted right onto the builder. So we added a title, now we need a description, which we also have conveniently here. Let's go ahead, copy that, paste it back into the builder. And now you have your course description as well. Okay, so that after that, we can set the general information regarding the course. We can add the feature image and the video as well. So we add a feature image and if you want, you can also set an intro video to your course if your course requires that. And then we come to the pricing model. So if you set it to free, then obviously the course is free. But unlike before, if you set it to paid, there are some new options now. So with Tutor LMS 3.0, we now have native subscriptions for learners to subscribe to courses. So if you have that add-on enabled from Tutor LMS add-ons list, you'll get the option to create a subscription and enable that. Once again, there's a lot to go over with the subscriptions and we will be definitely covering that in another video. So keep your eyes out for that. So for now, let's just set a price for our course and we'll add a sale price as well. And we'll set the purchase option to one-time purchase only. So if you wanna add subscriptions, you would select uh, subscriptions only. Or if you wanna have like a hybrid system where people can subscribe to your course or buy it one time, then you can select this option, subscription and one-time purchase. But since we don't have any subscriptions, we're just gonna select one-time purchase. After that, you can set a category for your course. So since this is about web dev, we'll set it to development and we can configure the general settings for our courses. So same as before, we'll set the maximum student number to 30. And since this is a JavaScript 101 and it's, it's mostly like a beginner course, we'll set the difficulty level to beginner. And we're not gonna make the course public. Next, if you wanna configure content drip for your course, you can do it from here. You can select which type of content drip you want. So the first one, schedule course content by date would mean that every subsequent lesson of your course would be released at specific dates. Course content available X days after enrollment means that if you select this and if you set the course content to be available five days after enrollment, then a student 
would be able to access the course five days after they have enrolled. Course content available sequentially means that they have to finish lesson one to get to lesson two. And course content unlocked after finishing prerequisites means that they need to do the prerequisite course to be able to access this course that you're setting up right now. But we are actually going to just set course content available X days after enrollment. So once we're happy with all that, we'll click on next. And now we come to the curriculum tab of the course builder. So we actually press the next button that was on the previous tab, but you can also click on these tabs right here from the top. So curriculum is where you would add topics followed by lessons and quizzes to your course. So this is also where the new quiz builder is. So let's get started by creating a topic for our course. Once again, we're going to be using the nifty instructor notebook and I've already copied the topic titles for this topic. So we'll add this topic. We don't really need a summary. Click OK, save the topic and then we'll move on to lessons. So this will be our first lesson, lesson one, introduction to JavaScript, and then we can add a content for our lesson. And as always, we recommend having a video for your lesson as that makes it more interactive for students to be able to learn better. So if you want to add a video, you'll see that the builder is saying that we don't have a video source selected. So we'll click on select from settings, come here, it will automatically bring you to the course settings where you can select your preferred video source. So we'll go ahead and check on YouTube and HTML5, save settings. And now if we go to our builder, reload this page, now we can also upload a video or add a YouTube URL to add a video to our course. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a dummy video URL. Once you select okay, you'll see that your video thumbnail appears, which means that the video has been added. Now you can manually specify how long the video is so that students have a better idea of how, how much time they need to allocate to watch this video. Next, if you want to add any exercise files for students, you would upload the attachment here. And lastly, if you wanna turn on lesson previews so that students can actually check out the lessons before they even enroll, enroll into the course, then you can enable this setting. Make sure you hit save so that your lesson saves. And there you go, our lesson is here. Now we'll move on to creating a quiz. So this is the all new quiz builder of Tutor LMS. So for the sake of keeping this video short, we'll actually have a separate video on the quiz builder. So we'll just, we'll just quickly add a quiz here, add the quiz title. So we're gonna add a multiple choice question first. We'll use our instructor notebook. This is our question, we'll paste it here and then we'll add our options. So we'll give four options for this question. And you can also do a multiple choice question with images. So you can have image options for all the options and then learners can just select the images. So for this question, the correct answer is D. So you'll see that you have a tick mark here, whichever tick mark you select, that's actually you're determining which answer is the right answer. So since D is the right answer, we'll check the box beside D. And then you can set some conditions for your question. So if you have one or more correct answers, then you'd need to enable multiple correct answer. Obviously we want the student to get the answer and then move on to the next question. So we'll select answer required. If you wanna jumble up the choices, then you can select randomized choice. And then you can select the points or marks for this question. And you can also enable the option for learners to see how much points or marks are awarded for this question. And lastly, you can select an answer explanation. So you could specify why the answer for this question is D all of the above or whatever your correct answer is. So this is really helpful and it helps students or learners learn along the way. Even if they get the answer wrong, they'll know why the right answer is the right answer. So since we've added this question, next we'll go for a short answer type question. So once again, we'll copy the question from our notebook, the question set. Now, since this is a open-ended or a short answer type question, 
Let's go ahead and add an answer explanation. So once again, we'll set the condition that the answer is required. And there are a lot of settings here. Don't worry, when we have our quiz builder video up, we'll go over each of these settings one by one and we'll explain exactly what they do and how they work. So save that. And now you can add assignments as well. So if you need to have any assignments for this topic under this lesson, then you would set the assignment from here. You can upload attachments for your assignment. And then you can also select the pass marks or the total marks required for this assignment from this menu right here. We're actually not gonna set an assignment for our course. So once we're done with that, we'll go to the additional tab. And over here we can configure and put the finishing touches to our course. So all the additional info about our course, we can input on this tab. We can also set course prerequisites, course attachments, and we can schedule live classes from this tab. So for course prerequisites, you just need to click on this text box and you'll see a dropdown of all the courses in your e-learning site. Now, since our course is actually a very basic one-on-one -on -one beginner course, we actually don't have a prerequisite. But if you were to set a prerequisite, all you'd need to do is just click on the course that you want to be set as a prerequisite and it's just going to be here if you need multiple you can also do that you can have multiple courses as prerequisites so let's go ahead and fill up the additional information regarding our course so first of all we need to inform students what can they learn or what can they expect to learn from this course so we'll go ahead and fill that up so after we set what they can learn we'll set the target audience so who this course is mainly targeted for make sure to set the total course duration so that learners can be aware of how long this course might take them. Next, you can set the materials included with this course. So what are you going to be including as the instructor on this course? If your course has any required reading material or books, you could upload the PDF as the course attachment and you need to mention what the materials included for your courses are on the course preview page. So all of this information, by the way, is gonna go on the course preview page so that learners can see all about your course before they decide to enroll or purchase your course. Lastly, we have a requirements or instructions for this course. If you scroll to this section, you can set what or which certificate you're going to be adding to your course or rewarding learners with after they finish the course. If you don't have any certificate, then obviously you'd need to select none. Or if you have a certificate in mind, you can select whichever you want from here. And if you have any custom certificates, you can add it to Tutor LMS and this would appear here on the custom certificate tab. Let's go ahead and select one from our template. And if you are taking any live classes, then you would need to set up the class link from here. But for that, you would also need to enable the Google Classroom integration or the Zoom meeting integration. And we actually have videos on how to set those integrations up on our channel so be sure to check those out and we're at the end of the line now we can publish our course and this will make our course live so make sure to save your course as draft just in case you don't lose any progress on the course that you've set up so before you hit publish if you want to check out what your course looks like on the front end you can click on preview and this will take you to the front end look of your course so we can see that all the information pertaining to our course is here. So we can see the course description, what students can expect to learn from this course. The course content will be displayed here. Anyways, let's go back to the course builder. And now let's go ahead and publish our course. Now we can take one final look. So we can see our course. It's, we can see the price for the course and all of the information and there you go. That's how to navigate the all new revamped course builder on Tutor LMS. And that's it, folks. We hope that this video helped you out figuring how the course builder works. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments below. And as always, have a good one, everyone.